welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded March 24th, 2016. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons, and today I'm going to do a quick update on the Apple versus FBI and the San, Bern San Bernando, San Bernino, something like that, whatever, case. Um, a look at uh, a recent vulnerability in iMessage encryption, a new update to the FBI's Cyber Most Wanted, and a new vulnerability with a logo that's going to be hitting the streets soon. All that and more, as always, brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in pen testing and active defense. Email consulting at Black Hills InfoSec today for a quote. At Bernardino, thank you. San Bernardino. All right, so... A few weeks ago, we talked about a similar case that recently had a ruling in New York where the judge ruled that Apple did not have to comply to assist law enforcement in backdooring their phones so that they could get information off of them. In this case, you know, there's been lots of controversy over this, but just this past Monday, the FBI filed a motion uh, requesting a postponement of a hearing. Uh, the motion was accepted, so currently the, the hearing for, for this case has been postponed. The reason being, the Justice Department said that an outside party has demonstrated a potential method for unlocking the iPhone that would not require Apple's assistance. And if this method is viable, it would eliminate the need for this case to go forward. The FBI is saying that it would have a progress report by April 5th, at which point they'd be able to determine if they needed to proceed with this case or it would be dropped. It's hard to say if this is a win or not for us. You know, we'll keep, uh, keep you updated on any de further developments. We'll be watching April, the April 5th announcement with you know, sharp eyes, and we'll be sure to update you when we hear more. Links to all that in our show notes. Uh, Speaking of Apple and encryption and backdoors, <laughs> iMessage encryption was cracked. Um, so and it's been fixed. So it's fixed in iOS 9.3 in OS X El Capitan versions uh, 11 through 13. So the proof of concept attack took roughly 130,000 edits in 72 hours. That's to break the encryption key. Um, if they wanted to, if they wanted to attack iMessages in transit, uh, they would already have to have some type of man-in-the-middle access to, to perform the attack. And if they wanted to decrypt undelivered me iMessages in iCloud, they would already have to have access to the iC your iCloud um, backup. So, you know, there's a couple of caveats to this. You, you know, you need to have a successful man-in-the-middle attack. You have to have a successful access to iCloud, which would only be for undelivered messages. You would uh, need about 72 hours to, to break this, though obviously throwing more computing power at this might make this a little bit faster. Uh, and just to be clear, this would not help the FBI gain access to the uh, San Bernino, San Bern I don't know why I can't say it today. Would not help the FBI gain access to the iPhone that they're currently seeking from Apple. Onwards and upwards, talking more about the FBI. Just can't get away from Apple and the FBI this week. So last week we reported on uh, the update to the FBI's uh, most wanted cyber criminals, top 10. Well, just, this, just a couple of days ago, they updated that list with another two hackers from the Syrian Electronic Army. Um, they actually, the DOG charged three hackers from the Syrian Electronic Har Army just recently with a multiple uh, multitude of attacks targeting websites and social media platforms of the U.S. military and media agencies. Two of those hackers, as I said, were added to the most wanted list, and they're currently offering a $100,000 reward for details leading to their arrest. Uh, their hacks include, and you might remember these from the past year or so, uh, for a couple of years, um, compromise of um, a prominent U.S. media organization in 2013 and where they tweeted that a bomb had exploded at the White House. And this was quickly picked up and run with by a couple of news agencies and to their uh, 
embarrassment. Um, also gaining uh, control of the U.S. Marine Corps recruiting website and uh, posting a message there urging Marines to refuse orders. Uh, you can find links to the, the update and to the Cyber Most Wanted, FBI Cyber Most Wanted uh, list in our show notes. Uh, last but not least, breach your, uh, brace yourself, bad luck is coming. That is right. The newest logo and named vulnerability is coming on April 12th. Really nice logo. Uh, not a lot of details right now. So there's a critical bug in Windows and Samba. And there will be patches available for Samba 0.4, 0.3, and 0.2 on April 12th. Um, we're expecting an emergency patch from Windows also on that date. Just to be clear here, Samba 4.1 and below are no longer supported and will not be receiving security fixes. So if you're on Samba 4.1, you need to upgrade now and be ready on April 12th to upgrade Samba on your Linux boxes and for that critical patch from Windows. Keep an eye on that. And we'll, as soon as we have more on that, new vulnerability. We'll be sure to give you the full details right here. That's it for this episode of Hack Naked TV. Find us on the web at securityweekly.com, hacknaked.tv. Email the show at the show at hacknaked.tv. And we'll talk to you next time. Thank you. Thank you.